Good morning again, everybody. Um, I have a collective haul this morning um, for things I picked up at Hobby Lobby, a couple things at the Dollar Tree, and then a few things at Target. So I'm just going to start with Hobby Lobby first. I picked up some foam. Um, first, this Silly Winks green foam. It actually has um, sticker sheeting on the back. So, um, you could make stickers out of it. I'm planning to uh, make grass um, for a pocket letter using my Martha Stewart um, scissors, the fringe scissors. Then I picked up um, some felt. And this is, I don't know if you can see the sparkle or not. I can't really tell right now with the view I'm at. Um, in a, a bright pink and a bright purple, real pretty spring colors. We'll try to make some flowers out of those with the Tim Holtz dye I have. And then some more glitter sheets of foam. This has some really pretty colors in it. And this is also by Silly Winks. And these, like I said, are from Hobby Lobby. Love those colors. Then I picked up um, some paper pads last week when they were on sale. I love this spring pad um, by Doodlebug Designs. It's a 6x6 six six paper pad with 24 double-sided cardstock sheets. And I'm sure y'all have probably seen this. Is, I love that right there. It just screams Easter to me. I love plaid stuff. It's got some cut parts. colors and of course it could be used spring most of the cut aparts are about spring but here comes the sun I mean you could probably use it for summer as well that's really pretty oh I like the clouds see the clouds with the face <laughs> really cute okay and then they repeat so again Six by six paper pad by Doodlebugs, and it's called Hello Sunshine. It was six ninety nine regular, and it was half price last week. And then this that a lot of people have been hauling. It's called the Ice Cream Parlor by the Paper Studio. It was also half price, and it's got every spring and summer color you could possibly think of. And you've got checks, wide stripes, polka dots. Thin stripes, big polka dots, gingham. I mean, it's just such lovely, lovely colors. Like, there's a shadow. I'm so sorry. But you've probably seen that. But again, it's by Paper Studio Ice Cream Parlor. It's regular uh, $14.99, so it was $7.50 with the 50% off. And then I love, I've really been getting into these watercolor pages. This is a whole cardstock and it is eight by eight. And it is by Memento. It's got all kinds of colors. I bought some watercolors, just a real inexpensive set at Hobby Lobby yesterday. I'll have another haul. Went in and picked up a few things, and um, so I'm going to try doing some watercoloring. This Project Life stamp, roller stamp, was on clearance for three fifty nine. And the sentiments are: the best is yet to come. Enjoy the little things make things happen. Every day is a new beginning. Enjoy every moment and time to have fun. So I thought that would be cute. Some lollipop sticks for my uh, rosettes. I use straws as well. And this is the only cupcake liner or baking cup that I've bought that's actually Easter. I'm sorry if there's a glare there. Um, it's got big old Easter eggs on it. And so if I don't use them all this year, of course, I'll have them for next year. And then these baking cups have three different really pretty colors. And they're um, 
polka dot, big polka dots, but it almost in here looks watercolored with the polka dots in the um, folds. So you've got a pretty purple, a darker aqua, and a pink. And those are really pretty. And then they had this Tim Holtz Sizzix die on clearance for $11.99. It's of the coffee cup, kind of like a, a Starbucks coffee cup. It's really cool. I think it also makes the ridges, if you have the right setup in your machine, um, makes the ridges on the coffee cup sleeve right there. And then I got a few bees. Um, these were on the clearance wall for $1.24. I don't know if you can see those real pretty colors, but they're really nice. And they're shiny. Really pretty and shiny. And then these glass beads. I have um, a plan in mind for these. Um, the colors and stuff. I'm going to make some shaker pockets in a project I'm getting ready to do. And they were $2. And then last at Hobby Lobby, I picked up these... Um, Traditions beads and they were regular $1.99. Their stuff was on sale this week, 50% off. So I got these and said so they were 99 cents. Um, I'm not sure how many pieces, but there's quite a bit in there. And that will also go with these, the project I'm gonna do. All right, that's all from, well, uh, from Hobby Lobby. Then I picked up these cups for my little grandbabies. Um, they were at Target for 62 cents. And she loves pink. And of course, any little boy likes black stripes. He doesn't want anything girly. So those were both 62 cents. And then I found the Easter stamps that everybody's been hauling. The bunny face, which I think is just adorable. The back side of the bunny, and then you could stamp it and add a little um, pom pom tail there. And then the little chick. And I can't remember whose video I was watching the other day, but they were actually taking, um, before they stamped, or excuse me, before they inked up the stamp, they put some scotch tape over these spots on the cheeks. And you can do it also on the nose of this one. And um, stamped in black ink, and, or put it in black ink, and then took off the tape and stamped it, and then went back in and put some color. You could do that with chalk. You could do it with a marker, crayon, you know, whatever you wanted to. So you could put those pink colors, you know, on the cheek. Or you could even stamp it, I guess, with, you know, just like a an eraser on the end of a pencil, stick it in some pink and just dot them on there. And then of course the orange for the little chick beak. But those are really cute and have a lot of possibilities. Um, for those of you who have seen my video earlier of my pocket letter, I, I picked this one up also at Target at the same time and I used it um, in my pocket letter, the Happy Easter, and did some coloring on that. Okay, and last, I picked up some ribbons and sequins, sequin trim at the Dollar Tree. Of course, I wore a dollar. Some dark purple, a blush powder pink or pretty pink, peach, a yellow gold color. I thought that was really pretty. Old. That could actually go on something elegant or it could be used uh, just on a summer pocket letter. And then um, this lime green sequin trim. I also got that in purple. And I used it down the side edge of the pocket letter that I did the video on a while ago. So guys, that's it for that haul. 
Um, kind of short, I know, but I ha do have a few more things that I'll be bringing to you later. Um, um, but I'll get this one posted, and I will see you guys later. Thanks. Bye. Thank you.